Do you want early access? Do you want uncut reactions? If so, then check out our Patreon. Link in the description down below. The title of this episode rings true. Getting carried away. I do that a lot. I can't help but just get carried away because I overdo things sometimes and I don't I don't know any better. Not as much as Kate. <laughs> I love Kate to death, but yes, she does overdo things and she We were having much- a Halloween party and it was like two days before time for the Halloween party and she's like, I'm gonna decorate the entire fucking house with all this stuff. And we're just like, you don't have to do that much. And she's like, fuck you. Well, not literally. But <laughs> yeah, not literally. She, but yeah. No, at she, a point she got so stressed that she was kind of telling people to fuck you. <laughs> like, it was in, uh, really close to it. Pretty sure she said that to Kathan at least once. <laughs> Probably. But this is one thing I'm going to, I'm going to place a restriction on. I was like, if she don't on. slow down, she's going to have a heart attack. This is what I'm going to, I'm placing a restriction on it. And if it makes her hate me, I don't care. <laughs> I just don't want her to be stressed out all the time about this. It's like, Kate, this is my house. And I don't want you to decorate like that anymore. Not because I didn't enjoy it, not because it wasn't cool, but because you literally drive yourself fucking crazy over this shit. And that's really all I can say. Plus, I think it was a little too much anyways. Yeah. Like, how many of those decorations were actually enjoyed? Like not not that not many. All of them. Hell, the one that they bought out front, you know, the spider that like leaps out at you. Yeah, wasn't even active because you need a light there in order for people to in order for it, people yeah, to interact. Yeah, it with goes it. off during the day and it's just obnoxious. Yeah, it's just to me there. It's just unneeded stress, and I don't want her to be stressed like that anymore, especially when she's got so much other shit going on. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, this was a. Uh, This little intro here, I'm not sure what to make of that, but yeah, Getting Carried Away, episode three of season three of Mob Psycho, and I guess we're just going to hop right into it and see what happens. Here we go. Oh, Oh, no, it's not just exploded from my nose. You don't have to see or anything, just come along, okay? I'm going to go throw this in the garbage. Hold on, let's all go. We'll walk really slow and kill some time. How come you're covering your face? No reason. Yeah, what's up? Put your hands up. Say, I have to go to the bathroom and run. This is bad. They actually get a look at all this snot under here, then. Check out this pick of Tsubomi Takane's snot covered face. Ew, that's gross. <laughs> so it's good to know that she has insecurities too like that. I mean, she's she's your average everyday like high school girl. You two. The teacher's looking for you. Oh, this sucks. Wait, Mom, swoop in with a me? tissue. Sorry, now's not a good time. Here. Here. Tissues. <laughs> <laughs> Smooth. Nice. Oh, sure. Well, thanks. Okay, see you later. See you later? Uh. (laughs) That was your opportunity. You missed it. Yes. If you were waiting for the opportune moment. That was it. That was it. Yeah. (laughs) I want to tell you about Sunday night. (sighs) The Psycho Helmet Religion is holding a huge gathering for all its followers. Hey, so... Hi, Tommy. <laughs> hey. You haven't forgotten, have you? You promised me we would meet up on Sunday and search for telepathists, didn't you, Mob? I did? I'll give you a call at home later. Uh... You're pretty popular, aren't you? Good for you. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Fine, play dumb. See you later, Mr. Popular. Is that the one that faked I the date with him? Yes. Yeah, I thought so. Come to think of it. I have spoken to a lot of girls today. <laughs> I think I might be getting popular. Uh, uh. Never mind. Sorry. Forget I said anything. Hey, is it just me or are all those girls looking over here? That Kageyama is such a hottie. <laughs> I was right. <laughs> they're whispering things about me too. Reads him something else, and so are fine. Might be a chance. <laughs> They're looking at his brother because he's right behind him. <laughs> oh, no. Jesus Christ. Their accumulated energy oh, I know that voice. to a new divinity. 
This enormous broccoli somehow became the symbol of an elusive, ambiguous god. Why shouldn't I take possession of all that energy and uh, put it to better use? Dimple. If this world needs a god so badly, I'm more than happy to do the shepherding myself. Since the divine tree appeared in our city, all kinds of people have shown up, many claiming to be the founder of the Psycho Helmet religion. Now, they're planning to hold an audition to determine once and for all who the oh, real Lord, founder that guy. is. Someone besides you is going to end up being named the founder of the Psycho Helmet religion. Wouldn't it be interesting if the founder were a second year middle school student? Not to mention one who happens to be a psychic. Now that would be totally mysterious and cool, right? You're going to end up super popular with the girls after this. <laughs> oh. What's wrong? Hey, uh, Mizato, do you also... No, never mind. Come to the founder auditions, okay? The leader everyone needs is me. <laughs> every every this is time, why I, the every time episode I title see is that, getting that carried chin, away. I'm reminded of the butt chin kid from freaking One Punch Man. You haven't been around lately. What happened? This voice is deeper. Considering the way you're looking inside yes, right what happened? now, I should be the one asking you that. You can't begin to imagine the extent to which no one ever notices you. <laughs> How would you know anything about it? You can't underestimate the value of a good leader. And that's what those people want. They're searching for someone with divine powers. Yes, I know that. <sighs> but that leader isn't you, Dimple. What a turd brain. <laughs> I see. Do you really think you have what it takes to lead the masses? I know that's not something I'm cut out for. Well, okay! That's why the two of us should join forces to bring about the formation of a brand new super elite religion! If you don't do something, some other jackass is going to take over! They'll end up claiming all of this divine energy for themselves! So that's how you got stronger. You managed to steal some energy from that broccoli. I uh -huh. mean... So uh -huh. then, what makes you any different from the rest of them? Well, uh, uh, Listen, Dimple, why not give the schemes a rest? Where has he been? <laughs> <laughs> God dang it. You think you've gotten more popular, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot something. Tomorrow, I'm going to be attending a religious gathering. And, uh, is that a good idea? The only question is whether I want to do it. I'm thinking I should have a meeting with them before I decide. He's gonna see the picture and be like, holy crap, uh, that's it. There we go. Talk about half assed. <laughs> don't do it, Mob. It's clearly. They got shady. merch? And it's that popular? Yes. And they accept donations, do they? Yes. Oh no, Reagan. I see. Serving as the founder of a religion at least once is part of being a man! Oh. That's and not listen, true whatever enough. you do. Make sure you tell your followers you have a master of your own. God damn. Have you thought about what to wear? Here's a bonus. <gasps> Go buy yourself a nice outfit. <gasps> yeah! Master. Just relax and leave everything to me, okay? Uh-oh. I know exactly which shops to go to. So you're going to wear that out, are you? Yep. And it's all thanks to Hanazawa. Tomei's running late. I was so staring stressed at out that by the... the end I didn't know what to think. I wonder if the shirt... Really all that Jesus Christ. <laughs> Hanazawa was fucking with him. Wasn't Hanazawa, he? you asshole. Tommy's not picking up. How strange. That's not good. Something happened to her? Could handle the Divine Tree's real <laughs> power. <laughs> oh. Only we of the Rising Sun Spiritual Union are truly capable of doing so. The call could not be completed. Mizato too. No answer. Dimples up to something. Probably. Mob sure has taken a sweet time. Here he comes now. Sure seems confident, doesn't he? That's not him. God damn I am it, the Dimple. one that you have been seeking for so long. The founder of this religion. I am Psycho Helmet. The hell? That's not First, Mob. From this point forward, I will be the Jesus. one who will lead everyone to happiness. Oh. He made a body the out of the broccoli, of the I think. the Psycho Helmet religion and all of my loyal followers, I will change the world. My battery's dead. I can also reveal that I am the creator of the divine tree. You should consider it an extension of me. And please continue praying to it. Objection! The divine tree is the end! Everyone who has their opinions. 
Yeah. Everyone, and that's the problem. That was going to happen even if Mob came on stage, I'm sure. Oh, yeah, because they'd yell at him and just be like, no, our way is the right way. No, our way is Can't the right way. Can't just be some kid. Everybody like, wants yeah. to be the one at the top. Prepare to witness a miracle. Uh oh. Broccoli. Broccoli. What in the world is going on here? <laughs> Damn it. Freaking Dimple. So much for Dimple laying off the schemes, huh? No, uh, you knew he wasn't going to. I, I know, but damn it, Dimple. You have to be such a pain in the ass. Yep. So what do you exist for? Yeah, I guess so. He has no other purpose in death. <sighs> I wouldn't say in life, but he's kind of a spirit, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, God, man, I, I hate that. I hate the fact that, you know, it's just, you know, Mob seems to have gotten stood up by those two in some way or... I'm thinking Dimple had something to do with it. He had to have known that Masato was going to take Mob to that and he knew that if Mob showed up it would put a damper on his plans because Mob would see through him and he would shut him down. And so I think he probably did something to... Like he either kidnapped her or, uh, you know, just knocked her out somewhere or something to make sure that she wouldn't show up with Mob. Maybe. I, I'm looking here to see if there's any tell about these two... You know, being potentially, like, controlled by Dimple or something. I don't know. It, it doesn't seem like I it. don't think so. Like, they were going to meet him. Like, they were going to take him to the thing. Or, like, you know, she was... Um, Masato at least was going to take him. But, like, I'm pretty sure that he probably uh, put those two out of commission to make sure that Mob didn't end up showing up there somehow. Probably, yeah. Because Mob's talked to Dimple about them, obviously. And he was talking to Dimple about what happened earlier with him thinking he's popular, you know? Yeah. I don't know. That that's that's a, w a weird situation that Mob's finding himself in. And honestly, I I'm hoping that he exposes Dimple and just be like, "Oh yeah, by the way, Dimple, get out of that at broccoli body. I don't know what you're talking about." It's just like yeah. just like breaks it apart, reveals Dimple to the psychic, so then he's just like uh, <laughs> surprise? Yeah, I I don't know what's going to happen, but we'll see. It's going to be annoying if Dimple ends up like the main bad guy of like the rest of the series. Yeah, that would suck because I've, like, started to I've actually grown yeah, to like the little bastard. He's master. a cool character whenever he's not being a dickhead. Yes, agreed. But anyway, everybody, so that's going to do it for this one. This was Mob Psycho, Season 3, Episode 3, Getting Carried Away. Uh, 100%. And uh, until next time, everybody, signing off, I'm Nate. I am Nick. See you later, everybody. Peace.